For the first time, a fully covered Muslim contestant is participating in the Miss Minnesota USA competition. 19-year-old Halima Aden from St. Cloud is competing tonight and tomorrow in Burnsville. The winner will go on to the national stage to represent the state in the Miss USA competition. Aiden told Nina Moyni why she feels this journey is about more than just her. I thought for a very long time that I had to conform or maybe change the way I look or maybe the hijab was dimming my beauty. Under the bright lights, it's hard to imagine Halima Aiden feeling anything but confident. First, I was really scared because I didn't want to stand out or anything. The 19-year-old Somali-American representing St. Cloud traveled a unique path to the competition. I was born in uh, Kakumo. It's a refugee camp in Kenya. And we came here when I was six years old. Aiden hasn't competed in pageants before. But she saw the Miss Minnesota USA stage as an opportunity to change misconceptions some people have about Islam and the Somali community. But I think part of the problem is they're not, you know, they're not interacting with people who are Somali. She'll compete in her hijab and wear a burkini during the swimsuit portion of the competition. You know, I just, I took a moment and then I realized, you know what, there's a lot of girls who do wear this and this is their reality. So. It just made me even more prouder to wear it. Highlighting her differences hasn't always been easy for Aiden, but it has become an important part of recognizing what she hopes others will. There is not one description for beauty that, in fact, it has different faces, different stories, different backgrounds, and it's okay to embrace all of those. Aiden is studying at St. Cloud State University. She doesn't know quite yet what she wants to major in. The contestants had preliminary rounds tonight. They'll find out who won tomorrow night after the competition. Certainly wish her luck. All the young ladies, too. A lot of wonderful ladies. Yeah. Thank you, Nina.